All right. Yeah, you got obvious. You can, you can see that. Uh, so we will talk about grounding. What it is, how it really impacts us big time. So first, you may have heard the term Panch Bhuta. Panch Bhuta is basically the five elements, which are the main, you can say elements in our body. These are the five different elements that we are made of. Our health, our happiness, our the entire energy that we have in our body depends heavily on these. Ayurveda talks about it in great detail. And those five elements are earth, space, water, sun, and air. Due to our lifestyle, we are getting away from these. And that is one of the fundamental reason why we sometimes lack, you know, our immune system strength, energy in our body, we have blockages, we have a lot of either physical, emotional, it could be a combination, psychosomatic issues, which is mind and body together. You may have observed that how these days we are inside the building, whether home or office, inside the vehicle, whether your own or public transport. And very few hours in a day or in a week, we are spending out in the nature and getting fresh air. Whether summer or winter, it's a circulation system, which is enclosed air circulation. And we lack the fresh air. Sun, we hardly get exposure, whether it's winter or summer. In winter, there is, depending on the area or city you live in, uh, you don't get exposure of sun properly. And summer, sometimes we feel it's, you know, it's too hot or it is too bright. And immediately we put on our either sunglasses or we cover ourselves. We don't get, the body doesn't get the exposure. Water. I mean, as a kid, I know, you know, going to a stream, uh, lakes or whatever, nature, water, jumping into it, or even, you know, dancing with the rain, right? No more. Space is a very big one, Akash. This is really, uh, it has a very big impact. Not that uh, others don't have and all, but the, this uh, ether or our space, uh, it is a very big element. And of course, Earth, we live on Earth, we think we are like spending whole day, but actually we are no more connected to Earth the way we were. In the name of sanitization, we have created an environment where our house is like a hospital. We don't want to touch anything. We want to, you know, even fruits, vegetables. 20 years ago, people will just pluck, you know, if you have your own home garden and all and eat. Nowadays, because of fertilizer, because of chemicals, because of many reasons, you will wash 10 times, you will not touch them, you will not eat. So our connection to the basic elements have really dropped. Our body, which is, okay, according to Ayurveda, three major elements, Vata, Kapha, or Pitha. It's a combination, someone may be, little higher on Vata, Pitha, Kapha, or combination that I am high on Vata, Kapha, or Pitha, Kapha, any combination is possible. The whole idea behind meditation, pranayam, yoga, is basically balancing it. How do you balance these three? So today we'll be talking about grounding. What is grounding? Or it's also known as earthing. There is a very good movie on YouTube. 
I can share the link in the group. If you get time, please watch it. Again, you may realize nowadays we are always wearing shoes, slippers, something. We, we are not coming in touch, in contact with the earth directly. So even if you are walking outside, always wearing shoes, insulation. You are sitting in your own house, in your lawn, whatever, but again, shoes are some kind of insulation. You're not touching the grass. You're not touching the ground. So what happens is the body's natural mechanism of the balancing act, because earth has energy through ions, electricity, which really balances our body. Our body is nothing but a bundle of energy. And it has a very deep impact because science still does not know exactly how this energy body functions. We talk of prana, we talk of ida, pingla, nadis. They are invisible. How exactly it flows? Science still doesn't know which our sages knew thousands of years ago. But what it does, it does wonders. We have medicines for pretty much everything nowadays. But really, if you walk, if you come in touch with earth, it can really balance our body, the systems, and can take us out of that habit of having medicines for everything. The root cause for all diseases, illnesses is one of the factors is inflammation. And it reduces inflammation. Inflammation goes down, the balancing becomes better, the body pain goes down, the stress level goes down. And we have seen in other quantum physics sessions that how stress hurts us by slowing down our immune system, by slowing down our digestion system. And the whole day we are under the influence of cortisol, adrenaline, which is stress hormones. And we stay for a long time and it really hurt us health-wise. So grounding health, the blood flow. How does it improve the blood flow? There was an experiment done. Based on this charge, you know, we have the RBC red blood cells in our body. And based on this, they will either repel each other in the sense of, you know, going away or coming closer. So this whole balancing of charge inside us reduces the viscosity of the blood. It like make it a little thinner. Now, thinner doesn't mean below the optimum. Basically, it maintains the optimum level. And when your blood is optimum, it is easy for your heart to pump. Because with age, with a lot of our lifestyle and other conditions, when it becomes a little viscous, now your heart has to do extra work to make it flow. Your energy, your sleep, people end up taking sleeping pills. All you do is improve the grounding. Literally, you can say it affects everything, any health issue that you may have. To an extent, nowadays, you can find it on Amazon. You have these grounding mats. They are connected to the earthing point in your house. Some people use these mats if they are working throughout on a, you know, like a computer or sitting job, they will have a mat so that they can put their foot down on the mat. So no extra time you are working, but at least you are grounded. Now, is it same as walking on the, say, barefoot on the grass or walking on the earth kind of thing? Well, this is the closest you can come if you are inside your house or office. <clears throat> Sorry. This is the closest you can come. At least you are connected and the balancing of the charge is taking place. Let's talk about walking barefoot on the grass. If you recall, in the olden days, 
and olden means I'm just going 20 years, 30 years ago, not like hundreds of years. People used to do this in villages, in cities, and they will walk without even saying as if they are doing something great or something as an exercise. It was so natural. You go to different parks and, you know, people will be just walking around barefoot. And we thought, oh, now we have advanced. We have better shoes with all kind of ergonomics and we should be wearing those. Actually, it is taking us away or in a reverse gear from the health perspective. So when you walk on grass barefoot, it really, same thing because you're grounding, it brings all the benefit of charge, the electrons and everything which you exchange with the earth. Your negativity, your mind also gets cleansed, just like what we are doing in meditation. And as you're walking barefoot, it not only does the balancing physically also, you know, it improves the balance, improves your positioning, improves your, you know, there is a connection between the skin and the tissues, which sends the signal to the brain. That improves. So the body awareness, which can help relieving the pain. Sometimes, you know, improperly fitting shoes can cause many foot deformities. All those things you can get benefit. And of course, the medical situation we talked about, whether it is diabetes, whether it's arthritis, all those kind of things, they are interlinked to your thoughts and to this energy, both. So as you see here, it helps you taking the negativity away. It helps you in balancing the energy, the ions, which improves your blood. Blood is one thing which is connecting everything throughout your body. It carries message, information. We talked about how the signal, you know, going from skin to the tissue and then to the brain. You know, this is one of the superconductor when we talk of the skins or tissues. That's why the information from brain to each cell goes so fast. Not everywhere the brain nerves goes. So there are so many things which we yet do not know about our body, which our older generation knew it. They were doing it without calling it yoga or exercise anything. Because if you go thousands of years back, all this, if I may say yogic thing, they designed it as a way of life that you don't have to say, I'm doing something great. Even we do namaskar. There is a reason why we are, you know, putting the hands like this. People used to sit down and eat on the ground. Now we have table chairs, dining table. I mean, you know, even in different uh, ceremonies, people used to, in marriages, people used to sit on the ground and eat. Everything is gone in the name of advancement. There were certain times people will take out, you know, they will be barefoot, they will sit together, community or some religious or spiritual or uh, say marriage, those kind of uh, functions. One by one, those things all gone. And this has taken us away from ground. So dear friends, whenever you get a chance, try to walk barefoot on the grass try to come in contact with earth. It will give you so much tremendous benefit. And because you don't have to do any extra effort, you don't have to do anything that, oh, I need one hour to do meditation or no. Whenever you have a chance in your backyard, in your, if you go to a park, you can take your shoes off. If you're sitting, just sit, coming in contact directly with earth. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever works for you before going to the mat, mat, electric mats, and all those are things that, yes, some people, you will see testimonial, like, you know, they had a back issue, all those kind of things. Yes, they use this mat on the bed, this way they are grounded, and they get tremendous benefit. But if you can come directly in touch with nature, that is always the best. So please do not think 
you know, sometimes we feel, oh, how bad it will look if people see me walking barefoot. Please don't bother how people think. Okay, that's what has brought us to this stage. Let's influence others by our good health. Then people will come, hey, man, wow, you are always good. Your immune system good. You never fall sick. And then you can share, yeah, I do yoga, I do meditation, I do grounding or whatever that is. No medicine, no allopathy, no side effect. And it's up to you, five minutes, 10 minutes, without taking extra time out of your busy life. Simple. Change your thought process, change your understanding of the concept. You will find ways that how you can walk barefoot in your own backyard, front, whatever. So understanding is the first step before practically doing anything. And that's what we are trying to do today. So uh, I will be stopping the recording here, but please, if there is any question,